story I'm going to be telling today is about the strongest and most influential person in my life. I'm talking about my grandmother that passed away in 2002. I moved to South Dakota from Phoenix, Arizona in 1997 when my grandmother called and for some reason informed me, my mother, and my sister that we would be moving to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. After moving to South Dakota, my mother worked two jobs. My grandmother would pick me and my sister up from school every day and watch us until my mom would get off work late at night. My grandmother did this for years and played a vital part in raising my sister and me. My grandmother loved to bowl, which she passed on to me. My grandmother and I would go bowling weekly, and that was where ultimately we did a lot of our bonding. She would come to every tournament or competition that I ever competed in and was extremely proud of how good I got at bowling. Little did I know at the time, but my grandmother teaching me how to bowl ultimately taught me a lot of hard work and dedication and many of the values that I have today. My grandmother died unexpectedly in 2002 after having heart surgery. I remember being at the doctor with her and my mom the day they told her she would have, have surgery. That was the first and only time I saw my grandmother cry. My grandmother beat breast cancer twice in her life. My mom said that she never even saw her cry during her battle with that. So it was pretty odd to see her cry about having to, having to have a surgery. My grandmother always said she loved thunderstorms, but it never thundered enough. The night she passed away unexpectedly due to, due to the hospital air was one of the biggest thunderstorms I have ever seen. Thunder and lightning cracked continuously all night long and flooded many of the streets in Sioux Falls. A year to the day later, at the exact same time that we got the phone call to report to the hospital, my family and I were all trying to go to sleep while remembering the trauma of the year before. Out of nowhere, an enormous crack of thunder shook our entire house and it thunderstormed ferociously all night long once again. My family and I met in the kitchen and shared an emotional embrace, remembering my grandma and everything she taught us. Even though my grandmother is gone, there has been very many important events in my life, as well as my family's, where it thunderstorms during them. We all know this is a sign from her letting us know that she is okay and watching over us. About six years after my grandmother passed away, I got a memorial tattoo on my left arm for her. This tattoo is a thundercloud with lightning coming around it, going around a bowling ball, with the years 1922 and 2002, separated with a breast cancer ribbon. Every day I am grateful for this tattoo because I can look at it and remember all of the great memories shared with my grandma as well as everything she taught me. Without her, there is no way that I could possibly be the hardworking, dedicated person that I am today.